Hey, my loves, it's your girl, Miss Melly XOXO here. So, okay. Whoo, y'all, baby. When I say that video I put out on Flame on Road last week, baby, the girls got pressed. I don't mean that. I don't mean our girls. I mean the other girls and the guys got really, really pressed. Uh, but you know what? I don't care about it because every hateful comment I got, I always focus on the positivity. But um, I was watching um, the my girl Monique Shane. She has a, um, a show um, on the Bill Series YouTube channel. I think it's our Bill Series YouTube channel. And she had my girl T S Madison on there. And when I say this episode was so huge for me. And when I say T.S. Madison, it's, it's, should, it's, it's a shame that she's not in the Breakfast Club. When I say this woman spoke for so many trans women, especially, especially trans women of color, it is just, it was just so, from the bottom of my heart, sis, you spoke, and thank you for that. So she was on the show talking about Flame, and basically talked about, I think his name was Rodney Perry. She basically was saying she was doing some interviews in Atlanta, and she was stating how, um, she the, she said the 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 trans rights came, came up in the radio interview, and then she said, the guy said, oh, you're a man. And she looked around, and she was like, uh, uh, excuse me, she was like, I, 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 I don't, I don't see any man around here that's gorgeous. Where she was looking gorgeous. Sis, face was beat. Body don't care what they say. You always say it's banged up a baby. That body will stop trapping. Okay, so then she went in. He, he said, he kept saying, oh, yeah, you a whole man on that. You a whole man on that. And then she was like, she, she, she said, Rodney Perry said, oh, I know someone like you. He, his name is Flame. And she stopped. She said, wait a minute. She said, I don't care. What kind of relationship you got, my sister Flame? You didn't meet me that way. And then she she went on to talk about identity of how we need to um, respect people's identity. And she was saying how you know if Flame wants to do that, that's her thing. But she you're not gonna address her as that. And and it just was so it hit home because the interview with Flame with Breast Club it gave straight people so much ammunition. It's not even funny. And because so many straight people. I've never seen, and this is the life, I've never seen so many straight people pop off on trans women or women as much as when that interview came. It's, it's like, it's always been hate there, but baby, it was like, it was like times 10 times 20. They don't want, they don't want to hear anything. They don't, majority of them. Well, yeah, they don't want to hear anything. And the thing about it, T.S. Mass was talking about people respecting their, their identity. And that's the thing that people don't understand. A lot of trans women, they just want the identity. They want the respect to be acknowledged for their identity and to know that they that they exist. Because you have to realize there are so many down low men who only want to see trans women at night or in the bedroom. And it's hard, you know, trans, trans women, especially, especially trans women of color, go through so much to even feel like we exist on, on that level. And like you say, imagine like if a woman who is very passive like T.S. Madison or Maya Scott or India Moore or Janice Mock or um, Laverne Cox go through that. Imagine what your sisters who are just starting on a new journey, imagine what, what the hate and the negativity is on a daily basis. But it was just so refreshing to see T.S. Madison do this because the thing about it, you have to understand this, Everybody deserves the right to identify as what they want to identify as, whether you agree with it or not. Because the thing about it is, you can't tell somebody how to live their life. That person needs to live their life for who they are. And to T.S. Madison, thank you, thank you so much for this interview. Because we're 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 in a state, it's 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 a it's a we're in a state of attack, and especially a state of attack for especially the black trans women and it's just it's 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 so hard because especially when you're when you're new and you're going through the journey um you especially like for me like i ain't gonna lie i i ooh, i know i have to carry some as my I'm, I'm carry some my, my purse because you know it's people would just try you and honestly and i and i gotta know i went to walmart a couple of times and honestly i'm living in the hood and most times i have not been tried honestly i've been saying i've been blessed but i it's kind of weird that ever since that flame interview hit the last. I went. I went Tuesday to Walmart, and I went yesterday. 
And I've had a couple guys really try me. And I've been going to this Walmart at least now, at least a good seven, eight months, maybe more. And I've never had nobody really try me. But I really had a lot of people try me. And it just goes back to show that um, when you have to you have to watch what you say because people use it as ammunition. And I also I also love what TS Master said about flame being more fluid. I've said that in my video. Flame is more fluid. And you gotta realize with you being more fluid, you're speaking for transgender women as a fluid person. And and people don't understand it. Like it, it that's 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 like a white person trying to tell uh, a black person about their rights. That's like that's like a, a black man trying to tell a a, a black woman um what it is to go through labor. That's like um a, a person who's who's always had money all their life trying to try to tell a person um about a struggle who's living the project hoods. You can't do that. You cannot do that. Let you you know people who have been through a struggle can tell somebody what the struggle is about. The only thing you can do if you've not been through that struggle is you can support that person. But you don't fully know what it's like to go through that struggle if you have not been through that struggle. Oh, I don't know how I got on topic, but that but but it just it was just a wonderful, well done interview. Um T.S. Madison just really um just really spoke good. Thank you, my sister. And just if, if anything in close, I gotta say, um, we let's respect people's identity. Okay? Lay my loves, bye.